So when we were here last, just sussing out the uh, drawings and how we're going to make it work, the architect had drawn some things that weren't, I suppose, commercially viable. So they were talking about taking chimney breasts out to make rooms bigger and moving bathrooms. And one of the things I didn't like is this old kitchen is going to become um, a bedroom with an ensuite. And effectively, we've got two sort of cupboards here, which were going to be knocked down. And there's a chimney breast in the middle, in that middle wall, which was going to be knocked down. So you have to put RSJs and get rid of the chimney stack and all that jazz, just to move an ensuite over here and create another cupboard, so to speak. So I said, well, bin that ensuite, put an ensuite in this right-hand cupboard, which is effectively a store cupboard, block the door up here, for what is effectively the boiler room for the whole property. We'll make it the boiler room for this flat and we'll put an external door on it so we don't have to change the height because the floor height is like two foot lower than it is here. So there's a huge amount of work just to create a bedroom with an ensuite where effectively we can do it without knocking the walls down. So yeah, I've changed the upstairs so we don't have too much messing around. So basically keeping it as it is at the minute, but just add it in the bathroom yeah. and put the ensuite in that cupboard. Yeah. So that bedroom is just what opened up there. And then he puts this da da da. Yeah. So there's no chimney breast to remove here. Yeah. No chimney breast to remove there. And no chimney breast to remove there. What about this floors now? Are you you have to level up? Floors? No, that floor is level. Yeah. That one we don't have floor to do. You don't have to do. Because he's saying we've got an external door, so we can leave it and leave it as a boiler room. So we've just been and had a look round, and we've confirmed that we won't need to remove any chimney breasts. We won't need to raise the floor of the old boiler room. We just need to install a couple of new doors in existing openings, and that's going to save us thousands of pounds in terms of labour by just some simple design on not having to remove things like large chimney breasts.